Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can connect your WhatsApp with NetN without having a registered business. First, I'm going to give you a quick demo of what the result will be, and then I will be explaining step by step how you can connect your WhatsApp with NetN. Right here on the left, we have the workflow that we are going to make and that we are going to use to make a chatbot within WhatsApp itself. And on the right side, you can see the WhatsApp and then right here on the top, you see the AI agent number. That's how I called it. And now I can just ask a question right here on WhatsApp and then the workflow will run and then we get our answer back. So I'm going to ask the question, what is the age of Elon Musk? And then we get our result back. Elon Musk was born on June 28, 1971. At the age of today, he's 52 years old. And if we now look at the executions, we can see that a successful execution has been made at the same time that we have requested our question. So this is what the result is of this video. So now we have just connected our WhatsApp with a large language model and now we can just ask questions. But now that you have seen the result, we will now start with connecting WhatsApp to your NNN account. The first step is going to developers.facebook.com. And if you don't have a Facebook account yet, you first need to create a Facebook account. But if you do have a Facebook account, you can just click here on get started. Or if you have been on this page before, you click on my apps. After you have logged in, you will land on this page. And right here, you can see the app that I have already made. But for you, there won't be an app. You can click here on create app. First First, you are going to give the app a name, then you fill in an email address and then click next. Then for the use case, you click on other. Here you select the business, that's very important. Then next you have the app name, just give the same app name, app contact mail, and then business portfolio. For now, you won't have a business portfolio and just don't select anything right here. Create app. Now that you have created an app, you are going to click on set up at the WhatsApp. And before you can go further with setting up the WhatsApp, you need to have a business portfolio. And right here, I already have a business portfolio, but you won't have a business portfolio when you first start. This is the part where the most people get stuck because they think they need a registered business, but you actually don't need a registered business to connect your WhatsApp with NNN. To create the business portfolio, you go to the following website right here business.facebook.com. So right here, you are just going to create an account with your own details, with your normal email address, and that's it. After you've created an account, you will be landing right here on this page and you won't do anything on this page. This is it. This is all you need to do. Then you will go back to this right here and then you will select your business portfolio and then you will click on continue. Okay, and then you will land on this page right here. When we are here, we are clicking here on start using the API. And now we are in the API setup. And what we are going to do to connect WhatsApp with NNN is using a test number. If you have a registered business, you can add your business number right right here, but we don't have a registered business. So what we are going to do is using the WhatsApp test number. You click that here and then here you need to add your own phone number and Meta will send a verification SMS to verify that this is your real number and then you can add it right here. And before we go further, it is very important that you follow these steps very carefully because if you make one mistake, then Facebook will automatically block your account and then you will need to wait a couple of days to get your account back. So it's very important that you follow these steps correctly. After you have added your phone number, then you can click here, generate access token. So one more important note, after you've created your access token, the access token that you have made right now will only last for a couple of hours. And this can be very inconvenient because we want to have a token that lasts very, very longer. So what you will do is copy your token, then go to tools and then click on the access token debugger. So after you're right here, you will copy your access token right here and click on debug. Then you will get a button which says extend your token lifetime. And then you will click that. And now your token life will be extended from a couple of hours to a couple of months. So this is very handy. After you've created your access token, you go back to NNN and we'll go back to the credentials tab. Then click here on the arrow besides create workflow and then create credential and then type in WhatsApp. So here you have to choose between the WhatsApp API on the WhatsApp OAuth API. And if you have a registered business, you can select the OAuth API, but we don't. So we are gonna select the normal WhatsApp API. So you select that, click continue. And then right here, you are gonna paste your access token. And then right here, you need to paste the business ID account. And the business ID account is right here. We go back to Meta. And then right here, besides the phone number ID, you have the WhatsApp business account ID. So you just copy that and go back and paste it right here. And if you've done that correctly, you can click save and now you will be connected with WhatsApp. 
So to check if everything went correctly, we are going to send a test message to ourselves. So right here, we click add note, then you type in WhatsApp and then you send template. It's very important that you do the send template because that's the only thing that you are allowed right now. For in here, you select your WhatsApp account and then the resource is a message. The operate is a template. And here you need to add the test number. So right here, the test number. And here you need to add your own number. And this phone number needs to be the same as the phone number that you have added right here. So if it's not the same, Facebook will block your account and you need to wait a couple of days to get your account back. So select the correct phone number right here. And then you need to select the template right here. Then you can click test step. And then if it all went correctly, you will get a message. And that is the message right here that we have now gotten. So hello world, welcome and congratulations. This message demonstrates your ability to send a WhatsApp message notification from the cloud API hosted by Meta. Thank you for taking the time to test with us. So as we can see right here, if you get this message, then you know you are connected with your WhatsApp and everything went correctly. So now that we have tested this, we can now delete this note. We now know how we can get messages from our test number, but we want to be able to send messages to our test number, then that our workflow will run and that we will get our answer back. And right now we still can do that. If you have a registered business, you can easily achieve that by adding a note and then going to the WhatsApp trigger. So right here and then WhatsApp trigger. But we can't use the WhatsApp trigger because you need a OAuth account for that. So we have a workaround for that and that is a webhook. So right here we have a get webhook and a post webhook. And we need the get webhook to activate our account and then for future users we are going to use the post. So we can use the post webhook to send the information or our question to our workflow from WhatsApp. And then right here, we will send back the results. So the next step is, is to configure these webhooks and activate them. So we now go back to Meta and go here to step three and configure webhooks. So as you can see right here, we have the callback URL and we have the verify token. And this is where all the important stuff happens. We go to your end at end and you will create a webhook. So we first need to start with the get. So create a webhook. And then right here, the method is a get and the path, I've just made it WhatsApp incoming. You can just make it whatever you want. And then authentication is done. And then the respond needs to be using respond to webhook node. In the respond to webhook node, you respond with text and then this right here. So json.query.hub.challenge. And then the response code is need to be 200 right here. And the way that this will work is Facebook will send a challenge to us, the hub challenge to us. And that is a certain code and we need to retrieve that code and send the code back to Facebook to let them know that we have received the information. So that is what we are going to do right here. You need to copy this URL right here and paste it for the callback URL. And next we have the verify token and you can make this whatever you want. I have made it WhatsApp123 and this is important because in NNN it will check if the verify token right here and the verify token in NNN is the same and that is important for the hub challenge. So after you have done that, you need to click verify and save and then you will still get an error message. So when I click this, you will get a error message. And this is very normal because we first need to set up our post before this will be successful. The reason we need to do this first is because after the get has been successful, Facebook will automatically check the post if that's also been successful and then you will get an error message. So next create the post webhook and for now you don't need to have this workflow connected. And then right here in this webhook, we have the HTTP method as a post and then the path and the path needs to be exactly the same as the path from the get. And this is very important. And then the rest is authentication is none and then respond immediately. And this is all you need to do. So after you've set that up, you need to click verify and save. And if everything went correctly, then you will see this, the webhook fields. And now you need to go down below and go to messages and subscribe to the messages. And for now you will be probably in a test environment, but it's very important to make this workflow active because Meta can then access the webhooks correctly. For now you have probably used the test URL, but it's important to use the production URL. So as you can see right here, I have used a production URL and then right here, the verify token stays just the same. As you've done that, you need to resubscribe and then resubscribe right here. So now that our configuration has been successful, we are now able to send messages from WhatsApp and receive messages 
from WhatsApp. Now we can start with building our actual workflow. So the first note after the post is a filter. And this filter is very important because we are sending messages from WhatsApp and then receiving messages from the same number. So if you don't have this filter right here, you will get the following. So you will send a message to WhatsApp and then WhatsApp will answer the question. But this webhook will think that you have asked another question and then it will end in an infinite loop where it answers its own question over and over and over and over again. So that's why we have a filter right here and this filter will make sure that only our questions will get answered. So in this filter, we have the following condition. I will make it bigger for you. And then you need to copy this right here. So what this essentially does is if the message is not from us, then it won't get answered. And then convert types where required. So you just gonna select that. And next we have our AI agent. It's just a simple AI agent. And then right here, I have a quick system message that just says where the message is from and where it's going to. So that's right there. And then right here is just the information that we have gotten from our filter. So if it's gone past our filter, that's just the input right here. And then I have the OpenAI model. And for now, I have just used the ChatGPT for Omini because it's quite good and very cheap to use. After we have created our response, we are going to send back the information that we have gotten from our AI agent. And that's what we are going to do in the next node. This is the WhatsApp node itself. Then your WhatsApp credential, select that right here. And then the resource is a message. Operation is a send. And then right here, you have the test phone number and then your own phone number that you have verified with meta and then the message type is a text and then the text body is just the json output from your rai agent and that's all you need to do so if you have followed all these steps correctly you will now have connected your whatsapp with your n8n this is all i have for you today if you have any questions about how to connect your whatsapp with n8n leave them down in the comments below and if you found this video useful don't forget to leave a like or subscribe